Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to show you how to make another Mexican dish. This one is called pambazo. It's like a torta, so easy and delicious. I hope you like it. Remember, you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. To make the sauce, remove the stems from the peppers, then place them in a saucepan with plenty of water and cook them on high heat for about 15 minutes or until they are tender. After 15 minutes, then place them in a blender, add one garlic clove and season them with salt to taste. Also add one cup of water and blend them on high for about 2 or 3 minutes or until well blended. Then strain the sauce into a saucepan and if the sauce is looking too thick, feel free to add more water. This sauce should be really thin as you see in the video. And once the sauce is ready, place it aside until you're ready to use it. Now to make the filling, in a large saucepan on high heat, heat up a little bit of vegetable oil and cook the ground meat for about 15 to 20 minutes or until cooked. Don't forget to season the meat with salt to taste and ground black pepper to taste. Or if you prefer, you can replace the salt with a little bit of chicken flavor bouillon seasoning. So like I said, season the meat and then cook it until well cooked. After the meat is brown, now reduce the heat, then add in the shredded onion, the shredded tomatoes and the shredded garlic. Give it a stir to combine and then continue to cook this for another 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, taste the flavor, add more salt and pepper if needed, and once you're happy with the flavor, the meat is done so just place it aside until you're ready to use it. Now we're going to warm up the potatoes with the carrots. Remember the potatoes and the carrots are already cooked and they are cut into tiny pieces. So in a saucepan add a splash of vegetable oil, then add in the potatoes and the carrots, then season this with a little bit of salt and just stir until combined. And we're going to cook this for about 5 minutes or until well heated through. If you want you can mix the ground meat with the potato mixture, but for this occasion I decided to keep them apart because some of my guests don't like the carrots. So I'll be filling some of the bread with just the meat and some others with a combination of the potatoes and the meat. But this step is up to you, you can combine them if you want to. The filling is up to you. So once the potatoes are heated through, now set them aside for a minute. Now to make the pambazos, grab the bolillos. Now we're going to cut them open on one side. You don't want to slice it completely, you just want to make a small cut on the side to make a pocket. So like I said, grab the bolillo and now we're going to cut it open on the side. Now preheat plenty of oil on high heat. And once the oil is nice and hot, now grab the bolillo, just grab it from the opening that you made and now dip it on the red sauce. This step is really fast. You want the bread to get coated with the red sauce on both sides, but you don't want it to get too soggy or too wet. So this step is really fast. You're just going to dip it really fast and then flip it around just to cover both sides. Just give it a shake and then transfer it to the oil. And we're going to fry them for about three to four minutes or until they are nice and golden brown on both sides. So just keep on doing this until you're done. My potato mixture is getting cold. So to keep it warm, I'm going to add a little bit into the skillet. Just place it on the side to keep it warm. Remember we're frying the bread for about three to four minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Once the bread is ready, don't forget to set it aside to drain the excess oil. And just keep on frying the bread until you're done. Now to fill the pambazos, stuff them with the potato mixture. Also add a little bit of the meat mixture. You can add as much of the filling as you like. And remember you can stuff them with just the potato mixture or just the meat mixture or a combination of both. After that, now top them with shredded lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and sliced onions. Then garnish them with your favorite cheese, Mexican cream, and your favorite salsa. And that's it. Enjoy! To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and everywhere. So all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!